Are you sick of looking at these fashion shows and thinking, how in the world am I supposed to wear that in the real life? Well, today I'm going to be trying on a trend and showing you guys how I adapted it to my everyday style and outfits and etc. Who am I? Hi, <laughs> my name is Maria and I do fashion reports here on YouTube. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, hello. I am in between seasons now, so I wanted to do something a little bit fun, a little bit out there, something that I haven't tried in a while and see just how it goes. I'm a mid-size uh, person, so I am going to discuss how I style certain things for my body. Today, I'm going to be talking about the chunky loafers. Yes, the loafers, but the chunky ones. Um, I guess we could adapt it to pretty much all loafers. I made a new purchase. I have these chunky loafers that I'm just styling like crazy, like a kid who got a new toy, always playing around with it. So that was me. Uh, and uh, yes, before we get into the video, I wanted to thank you guys who watched my previous video about my struggles as a youtuber your support was so crazy that i i didn't realize that it's going to be that much that big of a video that it definitely exceeded my expectations and some of you even sent me a super thanks i didn't even realize that that was a thing before so i wanted to say thank you and i really 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 appreciate it and without you guys i wouldn't be here now so uh, let me just quickly recap how were these trends styled in the runway shows if you're a fan of shoes that i encourage you to watch my trend report on them th this is just a little snippet out of it so we're taking a look at the chunky loafers so we see them styled in a very more kind of a classical just like a two-piece suit kind of situation we see it styled a little bit more on a very eclectic eclectic a girly kind of trend as well with like maybe some little socks maybe like a little dress something girly flirly but maybe like a little bit of mystery in there too we also see them being styled in more of a street style kind of a manner but here we go okay so I was looking for loafers. I went into the store, uh, me being more on a bigger side, maybe like mid side. I tried on so many pairs and I was thinking, oh, I need to keep them smaller. I need to keep them small. I tried the chunky loafers, you guys. And it was like night and day. If for my body type, I was trying on the, the tiny shoes and I'm like not so tiny on top, it kind of highlighted the fact that my legs are much bigger than this tiny little shoe. And in comparison, I looked even larger. But when I tried on those chunky loafers, it gave me a nice stable foundation for my body, for my outfits. It didn't look out of place. It, yeah, it just looked very nice. If you're wondering, but like Maria, I'm on the other side of this. I'm very petite. I am skinny. I don't like... Is it gonna work for me? I think it would. I think it's gonna look like a little bit more cute, a little bit, I don't wanna say childish, but having like that youthful feel to it, um, just kind of having like a little bit of a larger shoe, uh, it just gives me like this Mew Mew vibes, youthful feeling to it maybe like a shoe that your parents bought you they're quite ugly but you wear them anyways that kind of a nostalgia to it i have styled these shoes in a variety of ways and we're going to take a look at the different styles that i tried to go for so the first one would be more like a sporty version slash street style one i have this very oversized versace sweatshirt and i decided to pair it with this kind of a very tall slit plaid because plaid is another trend and a pair of red tights red tights are another trend and a pair of socks i quite like this outfit not sure if it's my favorite out there the glasses yes <laughs> the little details work you guys all right next one i'm wearing these very wide leg denim uh, with a sports bra and a trench coat uh, and patent leather matching the patent leather in my chunky 
loafers, sunglasses, nothing too special. I went to movie theater like this, uh, nothing crazy. Here I'm wearing a wide leg with a wide shoe and that can still work. Having more like a triangle silhouette, having like a really nice thick base to it. This would be great for people who are reverse triangle. So it's going to create that hourglass effect if you know what I mean. Okay, so the next one I've tried, this was the beginning of uh, the semester, so it was quite warm still. So I have this like short to onesie that uh, is black. I've put on oversized blazer, little tiny white socks that are kind of calf length and the chunky loafers and my trusty school bag. So I quite like this outfit, maybe tiny, tiny little bitch on, on a shorter side of the shorts than I prefer to, but I really quite like it. I did the whole little like sock accent on it. You can also go for a black sock as well. If you have more like an open neck, maybe you can go for a transparent black tight, like very light den black stockings. Um, and that's gonna work pretty well as well. All right, here's another time I was trying to style these loafers with that sweatshirt. I didn't quite like it, but I don't know. It was the black tights, black faux leather shorts, and I wanted to bring some drama up there. But I ended up switching to an oversized blazer and I had an all black look, which was really cool. And I had two compliments on it. Yes, <laughs> it's hard to get compliments in Canada without having a huge puffer on. <laughs> People in Canada just love puffers. I don't know, they, that is the only thing I get compliments on usually. All right, this one was kind of a Miu Miu inspired outfit. I wore these smaller loafers with them, not the chunky one. Thicker sock with it, so it's kind of like a ballet flat with a thicker sock, that's the Miu Miu vibe. An oversized blazer, turtleneck sweater, once again a Miu Miu vibe, and a denim skirt that I repurposed, went from being denim jeans to denim skirt. I quite like doing that kind of stuff. And my sunglasses, a bag, that is pretty much it. Very, I think most of these outfits would work for a work situation, office work. Continuing into that warmer sock, I decided to bring a little bit of pattern in there with an animal print skirt, oversized blazer, and a little pop of color as a red bag. I quite like this. I also have the floral earrings, which is a trend for sure. It will be oversized blazer, the loafers, and the earrings, like the three trends, I guess, happening in this outfit. Once again, pretty normal to go to office, to go to school. Uh, I went to a restaurant in this. Ooh. Okay, moving into more of a classic era. This one is a three-piece suit with wide leg pants and oversized blazer. I love everything about this outfit. I will probably try to recreate it. The vest on the bottom highlights my figure while the oversizedness is not totally bearing me, but I am on a taller side. I am 5'9", so maybe if you are more petite, more shorter, then that might not be the look for you, but I do love the oversized blazer trend. I feel like I'm not me when I'm not wearing a blazer, but today I'm wearing an oversized sweater, so it works, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, and the shades. Yes, the tinted sunglasses is another good trend right here. Okay, once again, here I have a cropped blazer with a wide leg pant. Same thing, we still see like the wide leg pant and a chunky loafer. It works perfectly together. I know usually people go for more of a slender, maybe like a pointed a kitten, kitten heel or something with a wider leg, but I really like this one. I don't know, don't come for me. <laughs> 
This one, I went for more of a tailored blazer that we are seeing more emphasis on the waistline when it comes to oversized blazers now. So keep in mind, I belted a gray pair of trousers. Gray is another color that is very popular and a pair of white socks that kind of echoes the white wife beater shirt and the sunglasses that just pull everything together. I love this look. Once again, it's more like an old money look and the loafers work really well with all of those. Okay, another old money look. Once again, I have an oversized blazer. I have a white button up. I put a huge bowl made out of like a scarf, kind of going for that Yves Saint Laurent look. I also decided to, to continue into that by having very tight pants with a slit put on the white socks again to echo the bow and the, I guess the cuffs of the blazer and the chunky loafer. Love this look, really cool. Like I would could see this happening on the runway. I'm like tooting my own horn here. <laughs> it's like, I'm so good. These are amazing. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. All right, I am trying to bring more red into my everyday outfits. And this was it. I decided to pair a pair, a pair, pair a pair <laughs> of red pants from Zara with the little tiny socks with hearts and the chunky loafer and a white cropped button button up with a black tie, kind of having that preppy look. Ties were a big thing on the runways, so if you like to wear ties, get them out and a trench sunglasses love this outfit really kind of speaks to my style for sure and once again kind of an old money but a little bit on a more preppy side yes office core yeah okay we are seeing the skirt again this time is again a little bit more of an office core look we have the oversized blazer the same shirt and tie situation a pair of knee-high socks and the shoes themselves i'm always wearing the same bag just because it's big enough for everything for my schoolwork and i am not about switching bags that often because it's time consuming and I don't really have a big enough bag for that. Anyways, once again, repeating this kind of old money preppy slash office core vibe. One thing that I did notice is that I would probably wear all these outfits with a chunky combat boot. And I was like, oh my gosh, that that is totally true. Like in the past, I would wear all these looks with a chunkier combat boot. So depending on the sock length or the sock color, you can actually pull, a, pull off different kind of outfits from these. So for instance, if it's like a calf long sock in the same color as the shoe, it kind of gives off that combat boot kind of a vibe. If it's a maybe even a higher sock, it kind of gives you an illusion of like a taller boot. From the far, you can't even tell the difference, but that creates a silhouette. So I was trying to test that out. Here you see me in this skirt and a button up with the black socks and the black loafers. Graphic tee on top of the white button up and uh, I belted it, still working. You, like if you put a hat on there, that's like me five years ago. Okay, here is me wearing this uh, sweater, trying things out with the same skirt. Uh, that was the day I was just trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear that day, honestly. <laughs> Next one up, just the wider button-up shirt with an upcycled denim skirt. Once again, having that sock pairing with the loafer, you can see that the slit is quite high. So I decided to do a messy tuck, having the end of the shirt sticking out and kind of giving me a little bit more coverage on that lit that I've created myself and I'm like ah oh, why did I do this <laughs> and here's how I ended up wearing and styling it with a nice huge puffer coat and a pair of glasses and a bag 
really like this outfit i went to school like that and i was feeling really comfortable whenever i was sitting down i would put my puffer coat on top because it was just like wearing a mini skirt you guys a cutout pair of tights with this asymmetrical skirt and a really long super long coat and a baseball cap i think i'm missing maybe like a little layered sock i think that is it i love that coat it's like one of my best thrifted finds out there yes love it now i just want to find one in red the same but red all right and finally this is the outfit that i wore today uh, i know that i wasn't wearing these earrings but i was in school i didn't want to be like too fancy so here we are this oversized sweater belted so my figure could be there you know just trying to highlight my curves i'm wearing kind of a knee high maybe a little bit over the knee uh socks with these so it kind of resembles of a thigh high boot and i would totally wear this outfit exactly like that with a thigh high boot and a wide brim hat a little white while black so you can see how i am taking my like older clothes that i've been wearing for years and years and years and just by substituting one thing that is kind of on a trendier side i can breathe life into my closet and that is what i want you to do too i would like to encourage you to get things out that you haven't worn before and try to figure out how can you make it now by substituting something so for instance here instead of combat boots which were super crazy popular and kind of popular still I've substituted with a chunky loafers. Something is much more current and all the rest of my outfits have taken a new shape, a new life to them. Let me know down in the comments below which outfit you liked best. If you like this kind of content, also let me know once again for the algorithm. Give me a like, maybe write me a last little comment if you have nothing to say, say hello i am super excited about the upcoming season i'm working on the video as we speak i know that i've read that you wanted shorter videos you wanted to know me a little bit more and this is the video that i'm trying to achieve this at anyways without further ado <laughs> have a great day stay classy bye